here's something we all know. We all know that... So hello and uh, welcome to the vlog. It's just gone seven o'clock in the morning and I am about to hit the road. I'm going to Tuzla today and uh, yeah, it's one of those there and back in a day things where I'm off to work on some music. And yeah, today that is with Eldina. So I've just stopped in Banyaluka, got myself coffee and also a sandwich because I'm gonna be hungry later. Um, yeah, I've got two hours and 20 minutes to go till Tuzla. So this kind of is gonna end up being one of those unsuccessful vlogs because I'm sitting in the combi here in Tuzla. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. We've done the best part of four, four and a half hours work. I'm going home and didn't show you any of it. So that's it for this week's I'm only joking. It's not it for this week's vlog, but if you don't want to watch a bunch of footage of me driving to Tuzla and back while I explain why I did it, that could be it for this week's vlog. And feel free to click away and come back next week when we'll have something more exciting and better formed for you. The question is, of course, why did I get up early this morning, drive four hours from Yaitza to Tuzla to spend four hours recording with Aldina to drive four hours back again this evening. We and me particularly want to really encourage people who are sort of teetering on the edge of being songwriters and taking their music to the next level. We want to really encourage them and give them the opportunity to do that. Um, so that means helping people with songwriting, that means helping people record songs, that means helping people release music, um, particularly in the church music context here in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And there are not a lot of people who were doing that kind of stuff and because of that I think it makes it very important to support the people who are and if that means that I have to get in the combi and drive somewhere and put, put the hours in to make that possible then I need to do that. I'm here to help provide sort of support and technical services to make some of this sort of big picture stuff move from just nice ideas into reality. I was listening to a podcast the other day, I won't mention who it was, because my brother will um, disown me. Um, but it's someone who I haven't listened to a long time, he'll know what I'm talking about, I haven't listened to a long time. But every now and again I dip back into this podcast, have a listen. This person said, don't have dreams, make plans. And that is something that I do agree with, that I think it's very easy to have dreams, oh it would be great if we could do this, this or this. And, and obviously I'm not saying don't have dreams, have dreams. But like, actually, if you make a plan, which means like in the case of today, I put a note in my diary, call well, Dina. Then I saw her a few weeks ago at a conference in Sarajevo. And we said, is it still on for, for this week to do something? Yes. And then I messaged her last week, like Thursday's the best day for me, gonna come on Thursday, yes. That's a plan, like actively, like dates in a diary. And because of that, we can make progress on something that is more of a dream. That's her wanting to write songs and release songs. And In 500 meters, slide left to stay on M4. I've seen a lot of people who can talk a good talk. And sadly, I've seen comparatively few people who are prepared to put the hours in to turn what are genuinely good ideas and great vision and wonderful dreams into reality. Slide left to stay on M4. I think it is important to be prepared to do what you need to do if you have an idea. Um, and so that's a little bit of, of why things like today pay off. The other thing, and, and I come down on both sides of the technology thing in terms of music, I absolutely am a fan of modern recording technology, absolutely a fan of the things it makes possible. However, there's some things that are possible that are not necessarily the best. So remote songwriting, if you have to, if it's the only option, it's better than nothing. If you can be in a room with someone, that's better. 600 meters at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Industry M18. I could say to someone, oh, sing me this and send it to me. That's okay. If, if that's the only thing we can do, let's do that. 
but if we can be in a room together, what we'll get out of it will be better. The sort of value for money on that time, for me, it's worth putting the hours in driving to get that time. Aldina's already got one song that is almost about to come out. We're just doing some additional vocals for that, talking about what's going to happen, some backing vocal recording that I'm going to do for that in the, uh, next week or the week after. And hopefully next month the song comes out. So that's super exciting. So we're doing a bit of recording on that, recording a demo for a new song that she's got. We did a bit of her adding into recording that's one of Arto's songs. We've got a big group vocal. And we've talked about him and, and his album, which again will be out this year. And we're getting closer and closer. And I, by the time you watch this, I will be in Priador for some recording with Arto. People like Aldina, people like Arto, who are excited about making music, who've realised that there is a possibility, there is an opportunity, and they want to make the most of it. And it's really nice to be in a position to help people like that, people who want to do something new. So I was also talking with Aldina a little bit about what we're doing with Isforsha Volta and the songwriting that's going to come up, um, which you'll see in a couple of blogs time. That will be a vlog, we will do that because we're in a good habit. Um, Angela knows that that's kind of expected of her. I was playing some of the sort of like where stuff's at to to Aldina and it was good to get her feedback on it. She knows most of the guys who are involved in that project. So it's good to have all these people who are connected in different ways, um, all working on creative projects, all being inspired by one another, all sort of supporting one another in the work they're doing. And to me that's really important. Like it's not a competition. Um, we just wanna get Lots of stuff out there. Continue on E661 for 18 kilometers. Here's something we all know. We all know that we like different music. So when we're talking like from a church perspective, we want to make new music to help people think about God in a different way or help people worship God in a different way. It's important that we're not just putting out one kind of thing. I'm excited that all these different projects I'm working on at the moment, they're not all the, it's not like we're making the same song six or seven times. Lots of different songs, lots of different styles, and that's good. That's what I want. So that's it for this week's vlog. Thanks very much for watching. Do give us a big thumbs up for a long day's work. Um, and do leave a comment and question if you want to know more. And do remember that together we do venture.